So today we are gonna continue with a bit of a look at some iPad productivity. Specifically, I'm gonna take a look at Pocket um, for real later apps. I'm gonna tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, why I actually left Instapaper after being an Instapaper user right from the beginning. Um, yeah, so let's dive in. You can see here, I've got my Pocket queue up. Uh, and one of the things that I don't love right off the bat, I'm gonna go into this a lot as I look at iPad apps in general, is that when I hold the command key, there's nothing there for me. There's just nothing. There's no arrow keys now. There's no keyboard navigation whatsoever. Spacebar, I can go into an article. Spacebar gives me nothing as well. So I guess keyboards don't exist when you use an iPad Pro. I don't know, or an iPad in general. I don't know what to say. <laughs> really, that sucks. Um, now, ultimately, and it's got a reasonable, I don't even know the article, it's got a reasonable reading. Uh, I can, you know, upgrade the font I want. If I want it brighter, I, you know, I like it in sepia mode pretty much all the time. There's more customization options. I just didn't, you know, I didn't see the point in paying for it. Maybe I would get a better reading experience. Like I said last time, Unread is one of the best reading experiences that I've seen anywhere. And so I want to stick with that for so many things. Um, but as far as pushing articles off for later, I got to go to pocket. And I was, like I said, I was actually a Instapaper user for a long time. And I kept saying, oh, you're like, why would I change? It's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. And it still is actually good enough. The only reason I change is because of their stance on GDPR, where they just said, forget it. We're screw all the Europeans. And I thought, well, if they're willing to do that, what would they do if like there's more data protection in other places? So it just did not give me confidence anymore in their ability to keep my data safe. And I exited. Um, what else is in here? All right, we can leave comment on it, we can recommend it. So I do that uh, at times for stuff. Uh, we can you know, have a standard share sheet, has a few quick options, then it's got the share via, and we get a standard share sheet as well. Now we can tag things. Uh, I actually just use the tags, right? HT, HT so hat tip or hat tip uh, sandbox room. There's two there, Lisa or sandbox room. For people, so I can mention that when I come to an article later, I can say who sent that to me. And we've got some other you know stuff in here. I don't really actually use that at all. So. Anyway, uh, and the check mark up there would resolve the article, which I'm not going to do. You can also swipe and there's, you know, you can star it, you can recommend it, you can tag it, you can do a bunch of other stuff. So that's cool. That's all just basic. That seems like it's just grounds for, you know, getting into it. So what I have really liked though is recommended. So I have recommended things here and I see some people that I followed, right? Daniel Bachhuber, who is a WordPress developer and I follow them. I don't love the trending because they just seem super popular. Right, even the six colors one. I actually follow six colors right at the top there with the Apple Watch, but I don't know. I just don't care about a lot of this tech stuff that's popular today. Um, but I do like the so Dallas at 40 inside the story behind the show that changed Texas forever. You know, that sounds interesting to me. I might I might choose that one or the psychology one. I just had to quit bad habits, so it will power. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> that one sounds a little um, popular, right? A listicle style. But, um, you know, some of the other ones I found in here, you know, a good story about uh, the guy who popularized um, helicopter reporting. That was really cool. Just interesting. It was like a Wild West, like jumping out of his helicopter as it like sort of not quite crash landed to like catch bad guys, knocking them off horses. Super cool. So that was really interesting. Uh, notifications. I don't even get notifications. I hate notifications. So, oh, look, someone did some stuff, but I've never even seen them. <laughs> um, so what do I really want out of it? Uh, a read it later service. What I like is I'd like keyboard commands. I'd love some more that way. I'd love an upgraded reading experience. Um, now maybe I can get more customizations, better customizations if I pay for it. Um, I just, I don't know. I didn't. And I usually like paying for services. I just didn't in this case. I think Unread has been the best um, reading experience by far of anything I've seen. Now going over to Instapaper land, like I said, I left because I didn't like how they treated GDPR and information. But what I did really um, not what I did. I didn't even like anything, actually. They were the same for keyboard commands. I actually tried Pocket a little bit before I made the full switch. And what I came down to is there's still no keyboard commands. I was like, great. So there's no keyboard commands. And I don't know what they're going to do with my data. So I left them because it just didn't, yeah, didn't seem useful anymore. It wasn't, I started it when it was Marco's thing uh, with Instapaper and I left. So I mean, that's my take on uh, read later services. If there is something better, if you have another system, uh, I suppose I could push it into Bear. I already use Bear as well. I did that for a bit. I don't know why I took that away, really. Maybe it just felt like I was getting too much into an everything bucket, which I don't love anymore as an everything bucket. Uh, I used to do that a lot with Evernote, but I don't I don't love an everything bucket anymore. So that's it. That's my quick take on uh, read it later services, why I use them, why they're not ready for like power users. I mean, what do people do who 
like uh, kotki.org, right? How, what does he do with all the different links he gets all the time? Like, how does he deal with all of that and, and file it? Like, I can't imagine he's using this because it's just so labor intensive and maybe there's more on the Mac, so that may be the other question. But what do people do as they move to, or what does, um, his name, Freder Federico Vitici of Mac Stories, what does he do on his iPad? That's something to look at. Um, what does he do to really manage his articles to read later and how does he do it? Because he's an iPad, you know, full-time as well. He's a keyboard user as well. Um, does he just give up the keyboard for those things or does he keep going on it? Anyway, thanks for watching. If there's other apps you want me to do a, a quick take on or anything else, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, something I'm working on uh, coming up is a deeper dive into Things 3 because I grabbed it recently and being an iPad only, or iPad first, you know, I have a Mac sitting over beside me, but an iPad first user, I wanted to look at it and see how it compared to um, everything else that was out there, the other options I had. Thanks.